Actually, there was a fourth charge impeding my progress. Once I removed it, my path was pretty clear. proceeded onward to realize that that way just wasn't going to work. I needed an alternate path forward. Um... That didn't do nothing. I... I don't remember this part, honestly. Oh, right there. Duh. Alright. Time to go back. Here we go! Luckily, I found a cave, and as I made my way back to the bridge, I saw something that concerned me. There? It was a long, oh. burning fuse, and it was moving fast as hell. I had to catch it. The burning fuse was so damn quick, I had to run like the wind. I almost had it, but no! Thought I was gonna have a coronary when I lost sight of those sparks. My heart was pounding like a sledgehammer. I knew that failure meant boom! Then, finally, at the last moment... Whew. Of course, I was successful, or clearly I wouldn't be talking to you folks here today. Naturally, I removed the last dynamite charge. Well, it was a touching reunion. But by this time, I was thoroughly exhausted and dragging my ass as I was not a young man anymore. More precisely, they found me. This place is a jury ass me! Nuttier than a damn fruit! Tunnel and pretty well shielded. Um, what?
play sniper. Luckily, I had located some dynamite. I still, however, had my work cut out for me. Heads up! This is the last mistake you'll ever make! Hold it off while I reload! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Kid Bastard. Curry himself. Give me a hand here, he had decided to stop pussyfooting around and deal with me personally. This is gonna. As he was, oh, I was just a bit faster. And as he lay wounded, I demanded to know the whereabouts of Roscoe Bob Bryant. He shouted at me. Is that what this is about? Bob went with Butch and Sundance to South America. You ain't never finding him. Now is he dead? Those were his last words. Okay then. <laughs> So, uh, Bob Bryant got away? I knew I'd never find him in South America. What about the other killer? Yeah, you kind of glossed over that one. Well, I found Jim, not long after my showdown with Ringo. At the time, he was riding with the James Younger gang. Did I neglect to mention that? Jesse James? The greatest outlaw who ever lived? Jesse and his kin rode with Quantrill when he raided Lawrence, Kansas and killed near 200 people, boy. Ah, nothing great about that. And from there, him and his brother went on to rob banks and trains from Kansas to Missouri. Which is why there was such a rich bounty on their heads. Forty grand for both of them, dead or alive. That's one hell of a payday. flying at me from every which way. But I knew I'd have to find my way forward if I was going to find this gym. level. Sorry about that. Alright. Cold Rage. Here we go. Now wait a second. How'd they stop this train in the first place? Well, the James boys were experts at this. Uh, oh, <laughs> another flashback.
They hopped a freight train, having heard there was a big payroll in the express safe. So oh, yeah. I hopped the same train. The James Younger gang was decimated after that little fiasco they had in Northfield, Minnesota. So Jesse needed more men and took on the killer I was after, along with a host of others. I was hoping to find my man and put a bullet in his head. Beat that oh. I was on that train, I must have swallowed a hundred damn bugs before I reached James that. James Younger gang took the first train robbery west of the Mississippi. Sounds like you hold them in high regard. Everyone knows they were the most famous outlaw gang ever. And you took them all on by your lonesome. Again. I'm finding this all a little hard to swallow, friend. Well, maybe you need to wash it down with some whiskey. By the way, did I mention that that train was flying down those tracks like a bat out of hell? Anyway, excuse me, Ben. But where would I find the gentleman's facilities? Suddenly I have an urgent need to drain my one-eyed snake. Well, I've had more than a few drinks, and uh, I've been sitting here for quite a spell. <laughs> right through there. Let me show you. Okay. I never heard so much malarkey in my life. Uh, you think he's bullshitting us? You don't think he's Silas Greaves? I think he's just some old drunk looking for some free liquor. I don't know, Jack. I think I believe him. You don't think he met Jesse James? Boy, you gotta be kidding me. That story makes no sense at all. Jack. I mean, you gotta be two bricks short of a load to believe that cock and bull story. I don't agree. Jack, lay off the But you seriously think that tired old man went toe to toe with Jesse James? Uh, well, that's better. Did I mention that this Jim was married to the infamous Bell Star? Of course, I didn't learn that until later. Anyway, I made my way forward the best I could. Along the side, over the roof. At some point, some some bitch saw me and shouted out, It's a damn Pinkerton! It's a damn Pinkerton! <laughs> now, I never worked for that limey cocksucker. But I guess they assumed I was one of his assassins. These evil bastards firebombed Jesse's mother's house and killed his stepbrother. So it's no wonder each and every asshole on that train wanted to be dead. Everybody's always mistaking you for somebody else, aren't they? Why is that, I wonder? Don't rightly know, Jack. I'm just telling you how I remember. I bet you are. I came across a flat car. I was lost. I had to come up with a creative way to make my way forward. I wondered if I was ever going to find the front of that train. Or the bastard I was after. Right about then, I was attacked by some asshole on a Gatlin gun. Again? <laughs> yeah, it seems like you run into a lot of them. Asshole? Gatlin guns. Yes, I did. Now, I don't remember how I took it out. It was either a bullet or dynamite. Now, let's go Where forward. would you find dynamite? Does it really matter, Jack? You're messing with the flow of the story. Alright, definitely hold right here. You're using dynamite. Oh, yeah. Much more 
fucking bitch shit. Looking for Jim and shooting any son of a bitch stupid enough to get in my way. And that included Jesse James himself. Oh, come on. Uh, that's why I get for rushing head first into danger. No, I had to be the badass. What? Uh. All right. Oh wait. God. Sure were a lot of men determined to die that day. It was then that Jesse detached the express car from the rest of the damn train. Oh. Oh. I could see Jesse waiting for me, fixing to kill me so he could get away with all that money. showdown with Jesse James? Of course he didn't. Everybody knows that Jesse was killed by Bob Ford. Yeah. Jesse went out like John Wesley Harden. Coward shot him in the back of the head. Guess it doesn't matter how far you run, does it, Ben? Your past always catches up with you. Yeah, I didn't kill Jesse James. Just wounded him bad enough to convince him to hang up his guns. What about that Jim fella? What happened to him? I figure he was up front with a gun to the engineer's head. That bastard slipped away again. I'll tell you how I got him. But first I need to whip my whistle. I honestly thought I was towards the end of the game. I guess I'm not. After my showdown with Jesse, I continued to track his brother, Frank, and that son of a bitch Jim. I followed those bastards into the high mountains as they were going to ground. What mountains would that be? Somewhere in the Ozarks, I believe. A perfect place to hide out from the authorities. In fact, before I could find them, some Indians who fled the res and were hiding out from the military found me first. They probably thought I was a cavalry scout and didn't want me telling the military where they were. Indians? Yeah, they, they could have been the Cheyenne, but there was all sorts of renegades roaming the landscape back then.
about another whiskey, Ben? Nothing better to soothe the troubled soul. Now, where was I? Indians, right. I had more than my share of run-ins with the Red Man. Like that time... Did I tell you about Grey Wolf? Yes, sir. You did. Ah, of course I did. In fact, I can still remember that old medicine man's words to me. Please, Christ, go back to that again. You carry great darkness in your heart. It will claim your soul. You will come to this place again. And kill many more men. Until it consumes everything you are. Déjà vu. There we go. All right. Cold-blooded resupply. Let's go with cold-blooded. More concentration. So, did you ever find it? Who? The man you are after. Let me ask you something, Ben. You ever think about death? Mr. Graves, are you all right? Ooh, Won't you spare me over till another year? What is this that I can't see with ice cold hands taking hold of me? Well, I am death, none can excel. I'll open the door to heaven or hell. Someone would pray Could you wait to call me another day Oh, death Oh, death Won't you spare me over to another year So are you gonna answer the question? What question is that? Jim Reed did you ever find it? Reed was indeed that son of bitch's surname. That's right, Ben. A despicable character. I remember him laughing like a hyena that cold morning they lynched me and my brothers. He was intent on avoiding my vengeance, but nothing was gonna stop me. Nothing. finally did track those outlaws down. They had long rifles with scopes and were well positioned to pick off any poor soul who came anywhere close. I don't think Silas is alright. I'm guessing Frank James believed I was responsible for the demise of his brother Jesse. I couldn't really disagree with the man as I thought Jesse was dead then as well. Backed off as I closed in on him, but he was still intent on killing me. And when I closed in on him again, he backed off again. 
looking for a better angle on me. Well, I can't fault Frank for wanting his revenge as I was there for the same damn reason myself. At this point, I'm guessing you think Silas Greaves is the worst murderer than Jim Reed ever was. There... Was I supposed to do something there? Isn't that why you were hunting the James Gang? The James Gang. Right. I finally found Frank holed up in his mountain cabin, and he was determined to have me dead. It was a pitched battle that could have gone either way. Luckily, I had some dynamite in my possession. Dynamite? On your person? A few sticks, just in case. It's always good to be prepared. Right. I'm just laying out the facts as I remember them, Jack. I gotta stop running in danger. I really gotta stop doing that. I see you. And that son of a bitch! You're gonna bleed! Take him out! It's just one man! What do you mean? Want that bastard dead! That old shack? Well, it went tumbling right off that cliff. With Frank James still in it? Yes, sir. But Frank James is still alive, living in Missouri, showing folks around the family farm for 25 cents a tour. I didn't say he died in the fall, now did I? Done with this damnable outlaw life. Kill me, don't kill me, do what you will. At this point, I just don't give a shit. I explained to Frank that I had nothing against him personally and that I was looking for someone else. You want Reed? Have at him. I never did like that bastard. I am done here. We parted in peace as Frank pointed out the path to my prey before making his way back down the hill. So, what we happened with me? Well, I finally found the last of the gang hiding in a nearby cave. First, I had to dispatch the lookouts. And I was determined not to let that murderer escape my revenge again. Well, that guy's dead. 